Hey everyone, it's Hayes and everything is happening this morning. Oh my word, so we have Miraculous Alert for Destruction, the synopsis for Destruction, and the official Jubilation trailer, so we're gonna start with breaking down the official Jubilation trailer. It's linked down below for you to go and watch, um, because for some reason it's on TF1's website, not on their official YouTube channel. Uh, don't know why, don't know why they made that decision. But I don't understand anything French people do. Okay, so Jubilation, we've seen part of this bit before. Marinette's is going for a self-care jog. On this jog, she sees Mr. Damocles being himself as the Dark Owl, as well as another advert for the Alliance Rings that we saw at the end of Multiplication. But then she turns around, and I'm not really sure what made her turn around, and there is a fake ladybug. Obviously, it's fake because she's ladybug. Um, and Marinette gets a bit annoyed. Why on earth this person is practising Mr. Damocles? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so um, Marinette seemingly follows them to this new location, not sure what it's called yet, um, and finds Mr. Damocles in this art shop along with what I assume is the girl who is pretending to be Ladybug. Who she is, I don't know, but Mr. Damocles seems rather upset with her. I think maybe it's because he perceives her to be better at being a superhero, maybe? I don't know, she looked like she had it handled pretty well before, but we only saw like a little bit. So he's pretty depressed, goes off, Marinette's also pretty furious as well. But Danny Agress decides that Mr. Damocles is far angrier and a much better Akuma victim. So he transforms his lovely little sequence we've seen before and he gets a mega Akuma and sends it straight to Mr. Damocles, who becomes the Dark Owl and is given the gift of the pig and he shoots a gift out of his gun. I'm not sure how seriously I'm going to be able to take this episode. <laughs> it's great. So Ladybug also picks up an alliance ring. I doubt she's going to figure things out in this episode, but there you go. Dark Owl seems to be doing great. He's batting off Ladybug's yo-yo. His moustache looks fabulous. Um, but then Cat Noir retaliates by kicking his head teacher in the chin. Love to see it. But then Mr. Damocles kicks his other student in the face. <laughs> and we've seen this bit before, a little jubilation wish of Cat Noir and Ladybug kissing. Lovely. So now let's move on to the destruction synopsis. It's on the screen for you to read, but I will read out the translation now. What if Monarch Daddy could force the Kwamis, who know the address of Ladybug, to lead him to her? Unhappy little creatures would have no choice but to obey him. And if Monarch appeared at Marinette Dupenchenk's house, could she escape him? Now, I am confused because it was to my understanding after what we saw in Samboy that the Kwamis could not say the name of any other holders so okay to be fair the synopsis doesn't say they tell her her identity they tell her her address which I have always wondered like can the Kwamis get around it by like giving clues about it you know what I mean like oh we can't say Gabriel Agrest had all the miraculouses and he's Hawkmoth but can we say he's a fashion designer, he's the dad of Adrian, can, can they get around it in that way? However, if that's the case, then why didn't Fluff do that at the end of Evolution when they got Fluff back? I... I don't... I don't know. I am a bit confused right now and I feel like this is either the start of it anyway is a dream sort of sequence or it's literally a what if episode like the synopsis starts with the words what if so whilst i'm not the biggest fan of what if episodes you all know how much i hate ephemeral um i i'm confused i'm still confused getting that little teaser from gloob last night has not cleared anything up for me <laughs> i was like maybe the uh, the trailer from gloob will clear it up but didn't clear anything up in the slightest i I'm just confused. I'm still confused. Because surely they can't tell him, right? Surely this is just a what if, like the synopsis says. I don't... I'm so confused, but what on earth is that key for? I... Like, you know, I think it's all pretty obvious. We've all reached the same conclusion. If in episode three, Gabriel Babes works out who Ladybug is, he's gonna just go in one night and take her earrings by force. She's going to be paranoid the rest of the season if he finds her identity. He can't know her identity. He physically can't know her identity. Because that means he's won, pretty much. Like, he's won. You know what I mean? I don't... <laughs> I don't know. It's not that I have a problem with Gabriel finding out who Ladybug is. In fact, I think by the end of the season, I actually would like him to know. But we're on episode three. <laughs> Maybe like episode 23. Yeah, go for it. But, um... At episode three? Mm, not so sure about that. So now let's talk about the Miraculous Alert. Doesn't really give us any new information either. So it's of Monarch in Marinette's room 
and he is holding um, a purple venom, obviously purple due to his colour scheme, but um, a purple venom. So I guess the reason he makes Marinette give him this key is because he basically threatens to venom her. Obviously when you get venomed you get paralysed and in the official trailer we got the other day she's not paralysed, she's moving around during the scene so I'm assuming that means she does it before he venoms her but I, I guess he's threatening her. Um, Is that appropriate for children? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah honestly I'm still a bit confused besties, please don't bible spoil me if you know all the answers but at the minute I'm just sat here like I'm sorry, what's going to happen? <laughs> Not so much with Jubilation though, I feel like that Jubilation trailer is fairly straightforward. I didn't feel like there's much to unpack there. I feel like you could understand it quite easily. Destruction on the other hand though, no. <laughs> so all the air dates are on the screen for Jubilation, Destruction, everything else we've got so far. And also I really should add it to this uh, thing. The video game comes out on the 25th. So there's loads of fun to be had and loads of stress for me. So I'd love to know what you think of absolutely everything, besties, because there was a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.